So back pain. Uh, in, in your practice, I guess, uh, you're, you're pretty aggressive when it comes to getting rid of back pain. So that's tell me what you're doing. That's correct. You are right in that we aggressively manage it and we look at the proper diagnosis and then also treat them as soon as we can okay. and provide as much relief as we can and improve their functional status as much as we can. So what areas of the back are you injecting? And it what is, are you injecting in there? Okay, that's a good question. Now it depends on where the pain is coming from. We need to know the problem first and then we can build on it. So if the pain is coming from the disc, we do the epidural injections. We inject local anesthetic and steroid, or majority of the times we inject only local anesthetic, sometimes steroid also. If the pain is coming from facet joints, we diagnose with the facet joint nerve blocks, and then we do the either therapeutic nerve blocks or radiofrequency neurotomy. That's also a type of injection, extended injection, or okay. put the heat on there. How long do these people get pain relief from these procedures when indicated? In the first block, generally, whether it is diagnostic or therapeutic, about three weeks or so. Second block, about six weeks or so. Third block, about 10 weeks, two mo three months. So that ranges between 10 to 13 weeks. So if you go on longer term, it is on average, it is 13 to 16 weeks. When you take the radio frequency, it's about uh, six months to one year. Okay, so the, the first block you do, just so I have a clear understanding, you go in and you test to see if that's where the pain is coming from? For the diagnostic block. That's so correct. you inject them and they do they feel good sometimes right, right there in the office? The, immediately, they should feel immediately better because okay. that is part of the deal. We have to check them if they are responding or not. Okay. So what we ask them is that we put, put that small dose of numbing medication and then we ask them to get up and do the painful movements which were painful before the injection. And if they're not painful any longer and it is helping them 80% or better, we consider that as a positive response. Okay, okay. And so then they come back and uh, so, so movement, back, forward, you Whichever have to the one, if, if, for example, if you have a disc issue, your pain gets worse when you are bending forward, generally. If you have the facet joint or a spinal stenosis, pain gets worse when you go backwards. Okay. So we identify which movement is the worst for them. For some people, just sitting is the worst thing if the pain is coming from the disc. So we isolate issues which are causing them the pain and we repeat them. So the, 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 the therapy, so the pain management physician, they normally see you after they've tried over-the-counter medications, physical therapy, chiropractic. They come to you when those things aren't working? That's and that's when they get something Generally, like that is what it is. So. Okay. Now, can people see, because this is covered by insurance, can people see you first and you could kind of like quarterback or oversee their treatment? Oh, certainly. Unless that insurance requires a referral from another physician. So. Okay, good. Now, we should also mention you founded the, uh, this specialty of interventional pain management. Is that right? That's correct. We started American Society of Interventional Pain Physicians, and then we had the specialty designation for interventional pain management. And we also have uh, two journals. Um, and we have done a lot of things, and we also have membership on the Career Advisory Committee, and we are continuously working to control opioid epidemic, at the same time maintain access to the patients who really need them.